Tonight, we have for you a brand new True Stories. Spunk yes, say nigga. Light work. Stuart. Yeah. I don't need a helping hand, I don't need handouts I need 150 grand to bail my mans out Yeah, get a couple of pills and process So my people's behind the wall can feel the progress The Broadway Bunky Amsterdam essay And I'm not from Manhattan either I just say that for the simple fact of that Like I'm a hustler, I'm a grinder it's Gotta get a gang max outlaw So when you think like I done made everybody on Broadway know me Cause I done been going there since I'm 17 Doing what people do when they go to Broadway in Amsterdam and shit mm -hmm. like that So when I say Broadway Bunky Amsterdam essay It's like a motivational type thing Like that's yeah. what I'm, I'm, I'm on my Go to Broadway and get it Go to Amsterdam and get it Get, get it. back to the Bronx You know what I'm saying? Broadway Bunky Amsterdam essay But it's Bronx all day to the casket drop You already know The first time I met you was at the EO Dub but you know, a lot of cats fuck with you, you know, yeah. high for Nina B. Yeah, you know, a lot, yeah, shout out to Nina B. M. Rec, too, Gutter Music, COD, DVD, yeah, they all show me. Slay, K -Slay. Sub Zero, K Slay is holding me the fuck down right now. Like, that's why, that's, that nigga's, uh, he, he been seeing me grinding forever. Like, me and M. Rec used to be in front of the Hot 97 in the snow, my nigga, handing out CDs every Thursday, like, you know what I mean? Every day, chasing flex to the side door, just to <laughs> see, like, for real. So, so Slay see it, you know what I'm saying? And it's just now that he see I'm keeping it consistent because, you know, I be having one foot in the music, one foot in, 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 a, in a regular life, you know, if you want to call it that, the street shit or yeah, whatever. So sometimes it's hard for me to get on the same page with both of them. But Slay see the consistency, sub, all of them. So, you know, they full, they taking it full blast. Huddy 6 too, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with Huddy 6. I heard about Cam and them, yeah, they showing me a lot of love and shit. You know what I'm saying? We taking right. off. In 2002, 2003, I was running around with Lil' Kim. I'm on La Bella Mafia album. Like, I done penned some balls for Kim. I done penned some shit for Benzino. Like, when Benzino was going at Eminem, yeah. I was writing all of that shit. Like, I was in the game for a minute. I was running around with all I know forever. Everybody, you know what I'm so, saying? So, say that. So, you've written actual balls for Lil' Kim and Benzino. Yeah. All right, then. Just make it short. Yeah. So, respect Bunky Ass here on that and, one. And I would never... And, and true story, because I see Benzino popping his head back out, of, you know, because he ain't been around for a while. Yeah. I don't try to say that to diss the nigga. No, I understand. But, like, I lost contact with him after that happened, and there was a situation with the guap. I don't know if he gave some guap to Kim, and they didn't get it to me, or something like that. So, I felt a certain type of way. I couldn't get in contact with the nigga. So, I put that out there, because that, that's a big thing. Like, that Eminem Benzino shit shit was a big thing. So you wrote some bars wrote, for Benzino to yeah, go at Eminem, Eminem at that time? Yeah. Get the fuck out I of wrote it. like I was Benzino. Like I sat down in the house one day like, how can I get some guap? Kim was fucking with Benzino. The uh, manager Hillary was fucking with Dave Mays. I said, yo, you know what? I'm just sit here and do something. If I was Benzino, if I was from Boston, if I was, this is what I would say. All right. And when I spit it for Kim and them, he was like, oh shit. Like, yo, Ray, we gotta get in the studio. Uh, uh. And son heard it. And he really couldn't deny it, you know what I'm saying? And so, he, like, when you was running with Little Kim, like, how, how did that happen to the point where you were cool with her? More, and, then, and then it just trickled off. Though. Like, my man Al G and my man L Bell always been around Kim. They always had a, like, they not always been around Kim. They was locked up with D Rock, who was, who was Biggie's man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They was locked up with Lake, D Rock, you know, Lake the Kid from Queens. Mm -hmm. And they have formed a relationship and they started that Max Out shit. So when they came home, you know, Biggie had already passed, but Rock was doing everything with Kim. So he brought them into that circle. So, and then my man Al G, when he came home, he was doing um, security for Puff on a, on a, um, that big tour they had, that Puff Daddy and the Family. No way that big, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. after, after um, Big Dot and mm -hmm. shit. So they was always around Kim, always fucking with them and shit, but they had to max out shit. Yeah. And they had snatched me up, and then, you know, my man Ills was part of the Junior Mafia shit. Not the original Junior Mafia, but once a couple years later, mm -hmm. he was running around with them. So we was always around them, but we was doing our max out you know shit. And then Kim and C's had their little split where they was stopping the fuck with each other. All right. And my man L. Bill was in the middle of that. So it was like either fuck with Kim or fuck with C's. He wasn't with that. Like, yo, y'all like, that's like some corny shit. So he ended up falling back from them. Kim was always on my shit. Gene Nelson, them for the first time they heard me, was always like, oh, who's this nigga? Like, uh, trying to trying to put me under the wing, snatch me up. Like, I could have been the second nigga on Koch Records with a deal. Like, first nigga was Nature. Put some shit out land speed. Mm -hmm. I had an offer in 2000 on the table for that. Turned it down. I didn't think it was beneficial to what I was trying to do. So, more or less, 
ill had to fall out with Kim and C's. Jeter got locked up. They reached out to me. Kim and them reached out to me like, yo, you know what I'm saying? This nigga's locked up. This is the situation. Like, what you want to do? So I'm, I'm in the fucking living in projects fucked up. I'm going to fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? When spit the bars, let them know. I went to meet her in the studio when she was doing the joint with Twister for the La Bella Mafia album. And she was just like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Ride out, we gonna try and make something happen. All right. Then they formed the Beehive shit. You know, it was a couple of us and we was just running with Kim, just doing what we do. And the intentions were supposed to be that after that album, it was supposed to split up. The Advocate niggas were supposed to get their own deal. That kid Reeks was supposed to get his own deal. I was supposed to get my own shit. They was doing the hateration shit. They was doing the cock blocking shit, fucking playing games with money and paperwork and or just like sucker shit, you know what I'm saying? All so right. that was the fallout with me and Kim. And then I talk a lot of shit, you know, my mouth is <laughs> reckless. So when she got on my bad side, I just let her have it. All type of fuck your mothers and suck my dicks and you pill popping, syrup sipping, fucking titty bitch, fuck you. With your dogs, with your Gucci scarfs on them and shit, suck my, you know, I went in. How do you feel when cats who aren't solidified is portraying that lifestyle? Because Honestly, uh, for me, just being me, it gets me tight. Because I be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, like, I at the end of the day, I, I, like, niggas could portray me however they want to. Monkey's a thug, monkey's a drug, whatever. Monkey's this, monkey's that. Like, if you're rapping about that shit and you don't do that, like, and you didn't do that and that shit you're talking about you don't do, or if it come down to it's about to pop, you're not going to do that, what you're saying you're going to do, mm. why rap about it? You know what I'm saying? Why try to lie to the people and try to like you know what I'm saying if you really lived that life like we lived it you wouldn't be you know what I'm saying we're just expressing and sharing it with people you're trying to gimmick the shit market it and hustle it and that's whack because look at niggas like Lupe Fiasco and all these other niggas I'm a fan of hip hop music at the end of the day all right. first and foremost when you hear these niggas rap they rap about what they really are what yeah. they really do what they really go through what they feel like rapping about you know what I'm saying and they just make us understand it we might not be skateboarding, but you heard Kick Push. I like the shit. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing on that. Yeah. He's talking about what he does. And he's making, and there's people out there that's going to relate to that. So if you don't do that, bang, shoot them up, bang, bang shit. If you're not a gangster, if you don't hustle, if you didn't before, why do it? Talk about what you do. Talk about your life. Talk about what fucks with you. Because all I do is put what I feel on the paper. You know what? i tell you right now. What's that kid's name? Kwale. What the fuck is that kid's name? Wale. You talking about Wale? I do not like that kid, son. <laughs> Why? I listened to his song. He don't... What the fuck is he talking about? What'd he say? Did he say something? Play it. Y'all got it? What the yeah. fuck is he talking about? Only brother that look at you with no trouble. Alleviate the beef. I do it with ease. Tim Westwood. When them girls come around... I mean, the kid from D.C. Did, did you see when he snuffed that white kid in the... In... I don't give a fuck if he snuffed Jesus Christ, my <laughs> nigga. That song, the... Um, Whatever that shit is, With Lady that video, Gaga. Nah, before I, it might be the Lady Gaga shit. Just cause you got Lady Gaga don't mean your shit gonna be hot, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I ain't trying to diss the nigga. We don't gotta fight if unless he want to or whatever. I'm just speaking for my opinion from on some music shit. I hear, I listen to the shit. Shit sound fucking whack to me. I don't see how niggas is listening to that. Like, yeah, that's the shit. That's on MTV right there. That's the shit. I'm not hating on him. He's from the same situation I'm from. Young brother from the hood trying to get what he trying to get, trying to go what he trying to go, trying to make music with yeah. And I respect that. But I just think the shit is whack. Pussy Captain America, <laughs> knocking on the cellular, tweeting on the Twitter page. Yeah. I don't just get money, I get money seven ways. All seven days, hustle like I'm never paid. Great goose vodka, great juice and lemonade. I'm all action. True so Stories of Radio. The spot on his face and I'm a splash. Clock's ticking, running the spot sticker. Try to play the block all day, but the cops tripping. Like the clock's ticking, running the spot sticker. Try to play the block all day, but the cops tripping. Like a surge in precise precision, walking the